Hello everyone, welcome back again to short movie recap. The main character of the film is Manu, a homeless man who does odd jobs to make money. He is so poor that he does not hesitate to do shady jobs. Currently, he lives on a beach because he has been evicted times for not paying his rent on time. One day, while relaxing in the sun, one of his old customers named Lamich approached him. He made an offer. Manu will have to take the suitcase from Ata and give it to another man. During the process, he was not allowed to look inside the suitcase because it contained something very important and because the mission was secret, he would have to carry it in the car. Obviously the job is illegal, but Manu really needs the money so he accepts without question. However, they has a small problem. He doesn't own a car. He politely asked if suitcase could be personally delivered, but Lamich angrily refused saying that transportation was needed. After the guy left, Manu started looking for a car. Since he didn't have the money to buy one, he stole a car. Finally, he found an old model and drives it to his best friend Jean Gob. Manu did not want to do the mission alone, so he asked Jean Gob to join him. He suggested they split the money in half. Because the latter also needed money, he accepted immediately. Later, as the two were heading to their destination, they heard strange noises coming from the trunk. They mistook it for the engine, but the sounds got louder and louder. Immediately after that, the car suddenly stopped in the middle of the road, but the noise continued, confirmed it was not due to the engine. After that, everyone nervously opened the trunk to check, but only discovered a very large fly sitting there. This shocked both of them because the insect seemed to come from another planet. They quickly closed the trunk and began discussing their next move. Manu wants to throw away the fly to make room for the suitcase that is about to be collected. However, when he tried to open the trunk, it got stuck. This worried him, because Lamich had asked him to keep the suitcase in the trunk while he struggled to find a solution. An idea occurred John Gob mind. He suggests that they tame the insect and teach it to steal other people's money and food. This amount will be worth much more than the 500 euros they are about to receive from their target. Manu liked the idea and immediately gets on board. The two then leave their current mission and decide to focus on the fly, but first they will need a place to stay, as the insect cannot appear in public. After wandering around for a while, they saw an old trailer. Because they were in the middle of nowhere, they decided this was the perfect place to train the insect. The only problem is an old man living inside, but Manu has a solution for everything. He engaged the man in conversation, before knocking him out from behind. The two friends then tied him to a barrel and take over the trailer. When they searching around the place, they found food, tools and even guns. Manu has never used one in his life, but he still keeps it for his protection. The two then used tools to open the trunk of car. They then decided to bring the fly inside and tie tape around it, so it wouldn't escape. At that moment the old man revealed that he had hidden 3000 euros nearby, number, and that he would happily give it to them if they released him. Manu didn't even ask him, and he agreed to escort him there. Meanwhile, Jean Gob decides to stay with the trailer and will take care of the fly. On the way, Manu stopped the car and started looking for the gun. This gave the old man enough time to open the door and escape. By the time Manu realized what had happened, it was too late. He returned home and sadly told his friend that he had not received the money. To his anger, Jean Gob bought cat food with the remaining money they had. He explains that they must feed the flies first because it is their only hope of survival. In the evening of the creature ate all the food but was still hungry. The friends are also hungry because they haven't eaten anything in 24 hours. So the next morning, they came up with a risky plan. Using previous weapons, they threatened a stranger and forced him to shop for them. Returning home, Manu immediately started cooking, while Jean Gob practiced his insect skills. He affectionately calls it Dominique in honor of his ex-girlfriend. The fly seemed to learn quickly, but it would take several days before it could begin to understand the commands. While the two friends were engrossed in conversation, Manu forgot to turn off the gas stove. Because of this, the kitchen and then the entire trailer caught fire. Manu barely escaped with a pot of broth. Now, they are homeless again but at least they have a vision in mind. They spent the entire evening drinking sips of broth while also feeding insects. That night, they tried to sleep in the car, but Manu became annoyed by strange noises from Dominique, so he went out and slept outside. In the morning, he suggested to sell the car and buy a better one, so they could sleep comfortably. However, when they tried to leave with the car, it wouldn't start. Manu then offered another solution. He used a pony bicycle to pull the car back to the dealership. On the way, 
they were stopped by a group of youngsters. One of the girls named Cecil thinks that Manu is her classmate Fred. He tried to explain to her that it wasn't him, but she was so excited to see him after so long that she didn't pay attention. She then invites them both to her farmhouse where they will vacation. This is music to the ears of Manu and John Gob, who can finally have a real place to stay for. Coming home, they parked the car and locked Dominique inside. Then they sat by the pool and had a few drinks. Cecil's brother Serge is angry that she invited strangers to their house, but he doesn't say anything at this time. When night fell, Cecil guided them to their rooms and told them they could live here as long as they wanted. Manu is delighted, but John Gob is worried about his pet fly. Then, Cecil took out her school yearbook and showed Manu this photo of Fred. To his surprise, they looked identical as if they were twins. The scene then shifts to dinner and we are introduced to Agnes, Cecil's sister. She has a strange disease that makes her talk in a very loud tone. It's almost like she's screaming all the time. Cecil later revealed that Agnes hit her on the head when she was a child, and from that day on, she never spoke in a soft tone. After dinner, Jean Gobb secretly went to the car, picked up Dominique and took it to his room. Then he started playing and practicing with it. On the other hand, Manu went into his room, but he found Agnes already there. He tries to start a conversation with her, but he mistakes it for flirting and kicks him out. Manu then went to his friend's room, but Jean Gobb wouldn't let him in because he had to train the fly. As a result, Manu was forced to spend the night by the swimming pool. The next morning, Agnes confronts John Gob outside his room, suspecting that he is hiding someone inside. She claimed to have heard him talking all night. Since John Gob could not reveal the existence of the giant fly, he lied that it was his pet dog. This unfortunately made Agnes even angrier, because dogs were strictly forbidden from entering the house. She vows to tell her sister and kick him out of the house. After she left, John Gob nervously summoned Manu and explained the whole situation to him. He asks her to find a dog as soon as possible, otherwise they will be in trouble. Manu was angry at the sudden chaos, but he agreed to help. Luckily, he found a stray puppy just outside the block. He then stuffed it inside and gave it to his friend. Elsewhere, Agnes tells the others that there is a dog in the house. They tried to ignore her as she was known for making up stories but when she continued to insist, they reluctantly agreed to check the room. The group then went to to find out what was really going on. To their surprise, they saw Manu holding the puppy. He made up a sob story, saying he adopted the dog because he had nowhere else to go. He then apologized too for not informing them. Cecil is impressed by his altruism, and she allows the dog to stay. However, Agnes and Serge begin to have doubts. The noise last night on did not sound like a puppy, but sounded like a giant fly. After everyone leaves, Jean Gob shows Manu a trick that he has taught the fly. It has now begun to obey his commands and can even move according to his signals. This amused the duo, and they thought it was only a matter of time before. Dominique could steal some food from them. Then, the two jumped into the pool and started playing like children. Agnes is at the edge of the swimming pool and she is annoyed by the noise they are making. Back in the room, Dominique finds herself alone with her puppy. The two looked at each other for a moment before Fly rushed at the dog. At the swimming pool, Manu and John Gob are still making noise. This irritates Agnes so much that she curses at them and heads inside the house. She then tries getting into John Gob's room, suspecting that he is hiding something. The door is locked, but she manages to open it using her hairpin. Agnes then enters the room, only to find a humongous fly there. Terrified, she screams the loudest she ever has, causing everyone to rush to the room. When they asked what happened, Agnes said nothing out of shock. Meanwhile, Jean Gob finds the dog's leash and realizes that Dominique ate it. The others, however, thought that it was Agnes who ate it and called the police. Moments later, Jean Gob found Dominique near the swimming pool and secretly hid it in the car. In the next scene, the police think Agnes is crazy and decide to take her to the hospital. Before being taken away, she talked to her sister. What was surprising was that she spoke in a normal tone. For the first time in many years, Agnes explained everything she saw in this room. But Cecil doesn't believe her. Later, when one of the officers is talking to Cecil, he recognizes her as his old classmate. It was none other than Fred, the guy who looked like Mano. To prove it, he showed a tattoo on his leg that he got while in school. This stuns Cecil and she finally realizes that both boys are imposters. The police then arrested them for fraud, but before that, Manu and Jean Gob escaped in their car. Now that they have nowhere to go and no money to raise fly, they decide to continue their previous mission. Even though, 
Arrived three days late they still reached the target location and retrieved the briefcase. They then headed to their second target, who turned out to be a wealthy businessman. They gave him the briefcase and were paid 500 euros. At this time, they discovered that the briefcase contained only a few miscellaneous items. These people sure love Christmas. The film then cuts to a few days later, and we see that the two have started living again on the beach. Sean Gobb seems very excited because he has finally completed his training with the fly. He took out a newspaper and gave Dominique a photo of bananas. He hopes that this insect will bring them fruit. However, as soon as he untied the creature, it flew away. Sean Gobb still hopes it will return, but Manu is sure that won't happen. Now they return to the original problem, they get emotional and start talking about friendship. Manu says they don't need the fly because they can trust each other, and that is the most important gift anyone can receive. Jean Gob nodded in agreement, but he was still sad that his pet had abandoned him. After that, the two men got in the car and started the engine, but when the was about to leave, Dominique suddenly appeared with a bunch of bananas. For more videos like this please subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications so you can watch more videos. Thanks for watching.